Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to create the spreadsheet to video integration and how to connect a spreadsheet, it can be an Airtable or a Google Sheet, to a video generation API and how to create videos simply by typing, a, typing in text. So let's move straight into the overview of the integration um, for this particular workflow I'm using Integromat. I'm using Google Sheets and I'm using Plainly videos. So those are my tools of, of, of choice. And let's see how, how everything is set up. So the first thing you, you're gonna need is a template. Template looks like this. It's a pretty simple template. It just shows a product. It has a price. It has a discount. So just a few text layers and um, some images. So let's see how, how I set that up inside of Plainly. So if we move inside of Plainly and click on edit, I can see that these are the layers I made dynamic. So these are the layers that are gonna change with every, um, every video. And obviously your Google Sheet should correspond to these layers. So if we check what I got here, I got price, I got discount, I got image color primary, color secondary, and color text. I can see that I also have those here in my Google Sheet. So I have price, discount, image URL, color primary, color secondary, color text. I also added a video link here in Google Sheet. So that's gonna be where um, Integromat will send finished videos. All right, that's, that's pretty much everything there is to do inside of the inside of our tool plainly. Let's move into Integromat and let's see how, how I set up this integration in terms of, in terms of integ like integrating. So I have two scenarios. The first one is video creation scenario. The second one is video receiver creation, um, video receiver scenario. And the first scenario has two modules. The first one is watching this spreadsheet for new rows and then this module is sending the data to plainly for creation of the for, 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 for video creation. I've set this up to check the spreadsheet every five minutes. That's the lowest time interval I can set up. Unfortunately there isn't a way to set up like an instant trigger so whenever you add a a new row, the integration is triggered. I'm sure there is a way to do this, but for the sake of simplicity, I just set up um, at five minutes. It doesn't really matter because five minutes is a, is a, is a short interval and it, it, it goes fast. So five minutes, every five minutes, check this spreadsheet. And then one thing you can do to to basically maximize the amount of videos you are creating is that you can put a limit here to, to whatever you wish. You can put in 100, you can put in 1000, you know, and that's why this limit of five minutes, I mean this interval of five minutes doesn't really matter because if you put in five minutes and then you put in 20 or, or 50, um, you can you can just basically cover all of your videos in one go. If you if you just paste all of your if you have like your variations in another sheet or something, and then you just paste those variations in the spreadsheet that's actually uh, sending the data to to um, to plainly or to your whatever video generation tool you're using, you can basically cover all of those variations in one go. So you can send all of the data and you can send all of the video requests in one go. In terms of this particular module inside of Google Sheets, there isn't much to do. Just connect your, um, your Google account. You map the spreadsheet you're gonna use. You map the sheet you're gonna use. You tell there are headers so it doesn't look so it um, bypasses this first uh, row it's because it's header. And then you tell Integromat what are the headers and you put in the limit. 
All right, let's move to the second module. The second module is what's sending videos to plainly for, um, for rendering. And for the second module, you basically get all of the data fr from inside of our uh, web app. So you don't have to think what, what are you gonna put, put in here. You just go inside of plainly, you click copy on API key, uh, just pay attention that you actually selected the project and the template that you want to create integration for and then just copy with API key and just paste the data inside of um, inside like a note and then I'm going to show you where to map that data. So the first field is the URL for uh, our endpoint. Then you're going to make the method a post method. You're going to make body type row row, whatever, it's a hard word. And then content type should be JSON and then request content is basically just copy and paste the, 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 the piece of code that plainly gives you, but this is what it does. Um, you're telling plainly what's the project ID, you're telling plainly what's the template ID, and then you're mapping the parameters. You say, uh, the price is going to be price, obviously, discount, discount, image URL, and these are all Google Sheet um, cells that Integromat is picking up whenever there is a new row, this module picks up what's the, what are the values entered and then it's sending those values um, to plainly map, mapped to the parameters you set up. So that's what this, this, this part here parameters does and there is also two or, or three things you also need to add. The first thing is you URL to your webhook. So as soon as you come to this part, go and create another um, another um, scenario inside of Zapier or Integromat and just create a new custom webhook. That's all you have to do. Just create a new custom webhook and copy the address to that webhook and paste it here. Okay, and then you also want to add some kind of a reference to the Google Sheet or to Airtable here in the pass-through parameter because that way this second scenario will know for which row of Airtable or Google Sheet is the video. Um, basically, where where is the video meant to go? what data triggered the render that will make that video. So in our case, I'm putting a row number because that's the unique identifier for Google Spreadsheet inside of Airtable. For Airtable, it's, uh, I think, record, record ID or, or something like that. So you just need some kind of an identifier that will be, that will be sent alongside with the output link so the second scenario will know, okay, this is the output link and this is where that output link should go. And that's all. And also you, you have to add your API, your plain the API here in the username. And that's it, just save this. And let's move to the second scenario that you basically started when you created this webhook. Okay, so two models here, modules here, very simple. The first one is a webhook that is receiving the videos. You created a webhook, you copied the webhook, and you added it into the HTTP request here. So this web webhook is now basically catching all of the videos that are created. And then the second module, and this is optional, you can send these videos wherever you wish, but the second module is basically taking the videos from here taking the videos that this webhook is receiving and sending them, linking them back to the original spreadsheet that triggered the, the video creation. So again, very simple, um, connect your Google, your Google account, although that, that's already connected if you made this the first scenario, you select the spreadsheet, this, the, 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 the video spreadsheet, you select which is this, what sheet this, uh, this should go. And then this is why we added this pass-through. As you can see, um, this is how this module knows where this link should go. So 
add the pass through as a row number and then add the video link um, to be output. And that's it, just click on, click OK, save this. And that's everything there is to do in terms of in integrations. Um, this integration is basically now ready and you can, um, you can render videos just by adding, um, adding new rows to this spreadsheet. I mean, to, to the spreadsheet, your link. And as you can see, it will also always generate a video that has that data. If we check, it's 9.99, it's 10% off. 9.99, 10% off, it has the colors and it also has the unsplash image that I linked. And that's it. Now you can basically scale your video production to infinite amounts just because creating videos is as easy as typing in text or you can even paste a like spreadsheet that has thousand videos and just paste the spreadsheet um, into your video rendering spreadsheet and um, plainly will make thousand videos, thousand personalized or unique videos. Okay, that's it for this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions, shoot them at contact at plainlyvideos.com and we'll be happy to help you. All right, thank you.